Good morning, guys. Bob Ritchie, who's had a really interesting uh, last uh, day and a half. We'll talk about that in a second. Kind to come in and join us. Uh, weekends of the Well are back. A doubleheader for the Furman men and women coming up Saturday. One o'clock for the women against Western Carolina. Four o'clock for his team against the Mercer Bears. And then they've got two other games coming up in February there. But let's not bury the lead, Bob. First off, let's uh, give you an idea, give the folks an idea. What's been going on in your life over the past few days? At 325 in the morning on Wednesday, and I know your days are all running together, this little guy came into the world, you and your wife, Jessica, welcoming Jax. Well, how do you like that? Uh, you, now you've got at least a shooting guard in reserve. Well, it's been, it's been a great, you know, 48 hours, and uh, just so thankful for a healthy baby, healthy mom, and uh, they're, we're all still at the hospital finishing up, hopefully today, and get to come home. But yeah, it's our third child, and um, you know we've got Audrey, who's 11, and our, our son, Mac, who's nine, and now we've got Jackson to the world, so we're really excited about that. And with the older kids, you'll have built-in babysitting in just a few years, and there's that. So then, last night, the Paladins played at UNCG, and let's show you where Bob was for that, as Furman was trying to get a road win, trying to get to two and one in the Southern Conference, and later in the evening, probably having others hold you up at times with little sleep, and you go out, you get a great win. Alex Hunter hitting one of his five threes, you pulled it out 58-54. So by morning, you, you got your little new son in your hands, and then by night, you're playing hoops. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's, you know, we've got an incredible staff. Unfortunately, Daniel Fowler drove me up yesterday afternoon, and. Uh, with Jack's coming at 3.30 in the morning, we basically were up all night and uh, got very little sleep. So Daniel drives me up, we leave about 2, and uh, I get a good nap in the car, go coach the game, and then uh, drove back last night with Daniel. So it was, it was, a, great, it was a great day. I, I told some of my friends last night it was a top five day, but uh, also probably a top five tired day as well. Yeah. But, you know, some team, sometimes that's how it works. Some of, the, yeah. some of the hardest things in life can be the best. And let's give your wife credit for the wonderful understanding, as all of our wives have. But I'm assuming you got in the car with Daniel. You were out like a light about five seconds into the trip, and you woke up, and we're in Greensboro. Anyway, so coming up, as we said, Saturday, the first of what will be three weekends at the well, the excitement of playing in the downtown Greenville Arena. You did it a couple of years ago. You had three men's games and a women's game in there. But it's, it's a pretty cool aura for the team, isn't it? We really enjoyed it two years ago. You know, I thought it was a situation where you get, you've got an NCAA tournament venue in the middle of an unbelievable growing city that uh, we're really trying as, as, we, as we grow the program and we grow the fan base, we're just trying to expose it to people that would, that would come downtown that might not come out to Timmins Arena. And I think it's really important for the program growth. I think the, the city and the growth, we, we, have to, we have to connect with it. And we have to, you know, as coaches and administrators, a lot of times we're begging people to come to us I think this is a move where we want to come to the city and, and we want to be right in the middle of it on, on three selective Saturdays a year that, that we feel like are going to be three very good games. But it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a doubleheader. The women are going to play first and, um, and then we'll play after them. So you get to see, you get to see both games. And um, you know, we're looking forward to getting out there playing a really good Mercer team that won versus Sanford last night at home and should be a very competitive game. And that'll be the first, the doubleheader this Saturday will be the first time on the 5th of February you got that UNCG team back in. That'll be a noon game. And then the Wofford battle uh, for a second time in three years will be played. Your home game will be played at noon on the 19th of February. I think it's pretty cool, too. You got a 4 o'clock game this week, so folks can play on the game around dinner afterward. And then you've got the noon game the next two on the 5th and the, and the 19th, and they can kind of make a day out of it in downtown. Um, it, it does add a big time feel, and I think it's great, as you say, NCAA venue, the men's tourney's coming back to Greenville this year. I would think your guys, when they walk out to that arena, just maybe there's, you noticed it a couple of years ago, a little bit of an extra spark for the players. There definitely was. I mean, we, I think we averaged around 5,000 those three games two years ago. So, yeah. you know, it was, we, you walked out there and, you know, a lot of the bottom bowl is full and there's a good energy to it. You got the ribbon boards and you got the hospitality spaces and, you know, as, as, as you go out there, it did, it did. You know, our students came, especially I remember, you know, like it was yesterday, the, the Winthrop game, we had all the students in the end zone and just had a lot of energy to it. And, and I think there were a lot of people that got to see us play that year that that was probably, you know, their mm -hmm. only time to be able to do that. And so we're looking forward to getting back out there this Saturday. All right, and I know, and I think the Wofford game on the 19th, just like it was a couple of years ago, was electric. That's a really good uh, team to play in that building. And by the way, on campus, they've just built new locker rooms at Timmins Arena. You're going to unveil those. But for now, uh, also focused on this weekend. Weekends at the Well, it begins for Furman this week. 1 o'clock women against Western Carolina Saturday. 
4 o'clock Furman Men against Berkshire. Bob Ritchie, thanks so much. Congratulations on you and your wife Jessica's third child. Congrats on the win last night. And best of luck to you as the season goes on. Thanks, Pete. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pete. Pete, thanks.